is giving she's trying to steal from me. When I open the dresser, why the f does Alicia have? Let me back up. Remove my bag. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here. I post hair video and life advice videos, vlogs, and things like that. Today, today I wanted to do a story time. I haven't done one in a long time, and this story came up because it reminded me, like me and my friend were just talking, and it reminded me of when I went through a situation, and I was like what the hell was that this is gonna be a fun story time very innocent i don't really like doing story times because i've said it before on my channel i don't ever want it to seem like i'm talking bad about somebody and then they don't have a chance to say their part of the story or whatever you have you but it's completely innocent i wish this girl well no beef but at the time it was definitely beef i was like well, girl what the f so if you read the title of this video <laughs> yes it's true so let's take it back okay it's her birthday let me let me paint the scene for you okay so y'all know when you're like family friends your parents friends have kids right and somehow if you guys are cool enough you guys become friends girl so let's name this girl alicia okay me and alicia became best sorry that was my cat me and alicia became besties that like, we became close okay and we even like went to camp together like it was one of them things okay and this is so f***ing funny okay so i've said this before my mom was like really strict so the sleepovers like all of that hoopla was not happening on a frequent basis but with alicia alicia we can always have a sleepover okay it was just like her birthday was coming up nothing out of the ordinary this is my home girl like it was nothing crazy okay like i really think this is not need to happen but whatever it's her birthday i don't remember how she was turning but let's say it was around that age where you're like starting to play with makeup you're starting to do things like beauty fashion like you're really discovering your sense of self and things like that right so we were definitely preteens. like um her auntie was hosting and she invited some of her friends over right and that included me and you know i loved alicia like me and alicia hung out all the f***ing time like it was to the point where Alicia's mom, like, she would, she would roast me like I was one of her own kids. Like, that, you know when you at a friend's house that much that her mother could be like, I'm, I'm just like the both of you. Like, not really, but you know what I mean, right? So, it was like that. Like, me and her were basically siblings at this point. So, my mom dropped me off, if I remember correctly. And, girl, period. I think it was like a whole, like, three-day weekend shebang, okay? Girl, so it's Alicia's birthday. And one thing about Alicia, she loved to copy me, and that's fine, like, I didn't really have a problem with it. I was like, Alicia, we can do the same thing. Like, I'll just give you your your own version of things, and I'll have mine. Like, and I, I don't know if it was like a sharing issue or what, but like, Alicia always wanted things to herself. That's okay. Okay. So, <laughs> I remembered at one point, like, me and Alicia really liked the same lip gloss, the same nail polish. Like, it was one of those things. So for her birthday, I was like, okay, I'm definitely gonna get Alicia this nail polish that i own because i know alicia loves this color okay so on the birthday you know you come with your gift you come with your sleepover bag and all that stuff oh so i ended up buying alicia the same color that i have right because i know she really liked it and i was just like you know what i'm just gonna give her her all her whole brand new one because she was like at one point she was like can i just have that one like it's fine like i don't care I was like, no, like, and I wanted to get her a brand new one, fully filled nail polish, so I got her her own, but I just so happened that day to bring the same one as me that I already owned. Girl, so the party goes as normal, you know what I mean? Like, we all hang out, having drinks, dancing, to that Romeo Santo, bachata, all that, having a blast, and, you know, the night is dwindling down, and I think I had agreed with Alicia, like, okay, let's do gifts, like, when everybody leaves, and it's just you and me. And like that was the vibe. So, girl, <laughs> so we're having fun, party games, all that stuff. Like nothing really out of the ordinary. And um, the nighttime comes, and at least she's like, okay, it's time for our presents. And if I remember correctly, I think we did mine last. And I see the Alicia like, okay, it gives my turn. I said, okay, here's the bag. Like, I know you really wanted this, so I got you this. And it was a nail polish um, with, like, chapsticks and all that other stuff, right? Like, a whole little bundle. And Alicia was like, oh, my God. Like, this is just, like, this is so sweet of you. Like, I'm so excited. Like, you're the best. Like, this and this and that. And I was like, period. 
period like i did right by my friend like period i got my friend the right gift okay so the night goes on we're at her auntie's house her auntie was so funny like it was just always so fun being there we were just hanging around watching shows like you know just a regular sleepover watching movies laughing the night takes a turn and i wasn't expecting this from alicia i was like okay we had went to bed we go to bed it's mad late and alicia kept being mad weird about her dresser at her auntie's house she had her own dresser at her auntie's okay she kept being like please don't don't go in there like sometimes it would be little dumb stuff like i forgot my socks can i use a pair of yours and like vice versa i'm like alicia i need a sock like okay so i'm going to the dresser before bed and she's like stop stop i'll get it i'll get it and i'm like okay and in my head i'm like okay maybe like you know we're going up it's time for boundaries like we gotta respect each other like we're the home girls but like you know and I just wanted to respect Alicia's privacy. So I was like, okay. And she was just being <laughs> mad dramatic. Like, she was bought, like, this is the dresser. She was, like, standing in front of it, making sure, like, I can't even see from the corners. And I'm like, like, now you're being weird. And now you're being weird. Like, you know, so my senses were tingling. I was like, there's something in there she don't want me to see. Why? I'm trying to think, why? Why is there something she don't want me to see? Why? Why? So I'm like, okay, I let it be. She gives me her socks. And I, if I remember correctly, we go to bed. We wake up the next day, you know, auntie's like, okay, it's time for breakfast, like, whatever, like, girls take a shower, get ready for the day, and, you know, let's get ready. So, Alicia was on some, like, you need to shower first. And I'm like, why? Like, why does that, and she's like, can you go first? Like, I need you to go first. And I'm like, okay, yes, I showered first, right? I shower first, and i finish you know whatever and i'm getting ready to do my hair and all that stuff and alicia goes okay i'm going to the bathroom don't look at my dress my dresser i'm like girl like i completely forgot about it again i was like okay girl like wait. so she, i'm like okay yeah i won't so i'm trying to do my hair right and her auntie owned a salon so she was on so i was like hey I, like i need a brush or something it was like something like that and i'm little so i keep forgetting to bring shit like her auntie was like oh look in her dresser and the first one on the left I'll, I'll never forget it on the first one on the left there should be a brush in there okay and i'm like well i remember saying i was like alicia doesn't want me to do that and she was like what she was like girl go get the brush like stop so in my mind i'm like i'm doing something that alicia's probably gonna get really upset about but i need a brush and this is where her auntie said to go get it this is her auntie's house like what am i gonna say no so i open the dresser girl And let me, let me preface this. Sorry, let me preface this. While Alicia, while Alicia's in the shower, and before I even realize that I need a brush, I'm in my bag. And I'm in my bag like, okay, I like, I've always been this way, but I always check if everything is in my stuff. Like, I don't know if it's like OCD that I have that I don't know about. I've always been that way. And I'm like, damn, my, my nail polish is missing. That's my word. Okay? Like, maybe it's like in the bag, like in my clothes or something, and I just can't find it, and I just keep it. And I'm like, whatever, it's fine. Like, it's no big deal. When I open the dresser, why the f*** does Alicia have my nail polish and hers? Alicia. <laughs> now, my radar was, like, going off. Because I'm like, if Alicia didn't want me to go in here and didn't want me to see what's in here, which is supposed to be just her gift, and now apparently something that belongs to me, I see why she don't want me to look in here. It's given she's trying to steal from me. But I kept trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, right? So I tried not to, and I didn't tell the auntie, I was like, what the f***? I found the brush, whatever, and then I get to it. And I remember, I was like, let me be smart and, like, hurry up and put the brush back in before Alicia comes. And I was thinking in my head, like, this is my shit. I should just take my shit back, because why do you have my shit? Right? And if I remember correctly, I put the brush back, and I leave it in there. And Alicia goes, Alicia comes out, she's like, did you touch my dresser? I was like, yeah, I had to. And she's like, why did you have to go my dresser? Like, you're mad f***ing weird, like, and we're doing this whole thing. And her auntie's like, why are y'all fighting? And I'm like, I don't know. And Alicia goes, you're in my dresser or whatever, like, you're being weird, like, that's my personal stuff. Anyways, I go, Alicia, why is my nail polish in your dresser? So yeah, guys, Alicia realizes that she got caught the f*** up and she immediately after this it kind of just set the tone for the rest of the relationship i feel like i feel like i don't have any animosity towards her i don't hate her but when you're so young and you realize your friend is lying to you because you're gonna see what happens next um i just kind of kept my distance from her but over the years i try to be her friend again and things like that but she lives in other states and whatnot so it's fine like i'm 
not holding a grudge over it or whatever but basically guys so when i confront her she's like she's like what are you talking about like did you forget that you bought me one for my birthday like you're bugging like i was like um i know i bought you one for your birthday the f i brought mine too she was like that's weird like why would you bring your own and then like this and this and that and she's like no those are both mine like they're both mine my aunt got it for me my aunt got it for me and i was like wow and if i remember correctly we kept going back and forth she was not budging and truth be told i spent the last all the you know the whole week in there like i was supposed to and the whole time i was really upset and upset with my friend and felt betrayed and whatever and i just tried to like brush it off and get through the days or whatever and at my core i was like i'm not letting alicia keep this like it's not happening that's my shit. so so i just kept it cool whatever on the last day of the sleepover i set it up to where i could on my way out and my mom was picking me up i set it out so that i can grab my before i left okay i don't remember how i did this but somehow i was able to get into the dresser and grab my nail polish and leave her shit there the one I got her for her birthday and I was really contemplating taking both because it really hurt my feelings like I bought you one for you because I love you because you're my friend and then you want to turn around and steal both like mine after I gave you your own like that's mad greedy it really sat wrong with me and it, it has stuck with me like till now like I'm 27 almost and that should happen like almost 12 14 years ago probably like you know so with that being said hi Poogie you know come on the bed she's like girl stop recording she hates the camera. Okay, Pookie, we have to hurry up because the camera's about to die. But yeah, guys, um, yeah, I took my shit on the way out. I don't remember, because this was, like, we're very young. We're very young, so we don't have, like, iPhones and shit like that. Like, it's very much flip phones. I think it was even, like, can I borrow my aunt's phone to call you and I'll call you on your grandma's phone, like, that kind of a thing. But yes, I do remember taking my shit back and contemplating taking hers that I gave her for her birthday because it really hurt me and upset me. But no, I left her, her stuff there and I just, like, kind of kept it in my back pocket that the thought of, like, okay, moving forward, any gifts, like... Mm -mm, like we got to be really precise with it but you know a lot of shit happened with alicia growing up it was kind of definitely like i don't know if and if this happens to a lot of women like you grow up and you have that one friendship with that one person where y'all go through like hell and back and it's just like what is this friendship and either one moves away or you guys cut each other off formally or you guys stay friends but you hate each other like i don't, I don't know i think looking back at it now i can laugh at it for sure I don't think Alicia would ever confess that she stole that shit, but whatever, like, I don't really care. It, like, at the time, when you're young, it's a nail polish, obviously, you think, you know, it's expensive to you, it's important to you, um, you don't have money to buy stuff or whatever, but I got older and whatever, so I forgave Alicia in my little heart, but at the time, I was like, girl, what the f I just, that story came to my head, and it was just so f funny and there's i've been gone through so much like dumb things like that before in my life and i have little story times like that but i just wouldn't want alicia to watch this and feel like oh this is talking about me on her little youtube account like no i just wanted to do the story time to really talk about girl friendships girlhood and we all like have that moment with our friend where we're like what the f was that or like a stupid fire like why are we fighting about this like you know what I mean? So comment down below if you have a story kind of similar to that where you and your friend, something dumb happened and you were like, what the f***? Comment down below. Let me know. Let me know if you want more friend stories because I have some for days. There's some stories I probably never even tell because of the literal PTSD I went through. I've had my fair share of good friends and really bad friends. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this was the time that that happened. Um, it is pretty funny looking back on it now and it definitely was like the start of my trust issues definitely but this was just a silly story just thinking back on growing up you know friendships and all that and yeah i just wanted to share with you guys have a laugh with you have you ever been in this predicament before let me know <laughs> and let me know if you want more stories like this too um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one make sure to watch my vlogs my hair videos all that fun stuff but thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this little story time that i randomly decided to film and post today <laughs> but thank you guys bye